Oh man, that's disgusting. Oh, you need more cheese. That's not mozzarella, that's yellow. Mozzarella is white. That's disgusting. That's the most disgusting, floppy, look, broken spaghetti I've ever seen. This is disgusting. I don't even know why I'm watching this. Do you guys wanna watch this or we stop? Because this is making me sick. You need to stop everything. And then after the look at that spaghetti is dead, you can tell. Spaghetti died two years ago. Oh. I'm so happy to hear that you're loving the recipe. Oh. All right, it is done. Look how good it looks. It doesn't look good. It looks like shit that came out from your culo. It's time to react to the worst pasta videos on Facebook. Are you ready for it? This video has over 3 million views. Let's see. Anna's ready with She's got tomato sauce to taste. I don't know if that's homemade, whatever it is. It was so much easier just, just to put it in. What is that? That's not pasta. What noodles is that? That's like vermicelli. What? You're making burgers. What? So, what? What did, why didn't you put the salt in the sauce? Why didn't you put the salt in the sauce? I don't understand why you put salt on top like that. You're not cooking a steak. What is that? Cream cheese? Whoa! Are you making a pizza now? Pizza time. <laughs> Honestly, why do you need this in your life? Ham. I don't get where this is going. And I'm really worried. Hot water? Come on! Come on! What is the point to do everything so well? The water will move everything around. Cook for seven minutes? Oh man, that's disgusting. Oh, you need more cheese. That's not mozzarella, that's yellow. Mozzarella is white and it doesn't come in the like this look like sliced noodles. Chives? We're not making Chinese dumplings. You don't need chives. What are you trying to do here? What, what is that? What are you trying to impress? Oh look at that black plate so you can see the yellow colors. That's disgusting. That's the most disgusting, floppy, look, broken spaghetti I've ever seen. This is disgusting. Over Michel, you Whatever you want to call Oh, you need a knife now. Oh, yeah. It's so hard to cut, yeah? Disgusting. Ah. Ah, yuck. I just go to the next video. I can't, I can't keep watching this. I can't believe you guys have watched this. I hope you know you, but some of you did. This video has over 3 million views again, okay? Complete lunch in less than 15 minutes. In less than 15 minutes. This is on Facebook. Spaghetti like that, I'm just making spaghetti l'assassina. Got cut tomatoes, okay, that's fresh. Got capsicum, okay, what are, you, what are you doing here? That's onion, okay. Parsley from now? What is that red sauce? That looks like gravy. That looks like a sauce. What is that, nuts? Did you put nuts? That's fake, fake, fake pepper. Salt. What are you doing? What, what is the puzzle doing in there? And what is that ketchup doing in there with barbecue sauce? Now the water? Why are the spaghetti at the bottom? They can't even move for spaghetti. You're killing them. The spaghetti are trying to escape. This spaghetti definitely didn't do uh, Jiu Jitsu masterclass because they don't know how to escape. Look at that. Look at that. Making a minestrone. That's not the way you make minestrone. You should cook the ingredients, saute the ingredients first. They're making a soup with spaghetti. Terrible. It's not done the right way. And then the parsley does not deserve to be. What is that tuna? You put in tuna in a soup? You put in tuna in this soup? So you got barbecue sauce, you got uh, fake tomato sauce, you got tuna in there. I don't even know why I'm watching this. Do you guys want to watch this or we stop? Because this is making me sick. You need to stop everything. What are you stirring? What are you stirring? What are you trimming by stirring that? There are steps to follow when you cook. You should have sauteed the onion and the capsicum first, then you add the tomatoes, then you... What is that cheese? Are you making a pizza now? Is this the same channel from before? Because I don't get it. I think you need more parsley now. You just remember that you need fresh parsley to get a fresh taste. The parsley in there, it's already dead. Oh, what a terrible spaghetti casserole. Oh, look how floppy. You didn't make a soup, because if you make a soup, 
you actually serve it in a bowl with a broth, okay? This is disgusting. If you have a pho, a Vietnamese pho, you get served in a, in a bowl with a soup and everything else in there, and it's beautiful. This is nothing like that. Oh yeah, look, the pasta is gonna make it more delicious. This is overcooked pasta, uh, no flavors in the ingredients, wrong methods, and you still got three million views. Over three million views. And the chef there telling you, hell yeah. Nobody deserves this in their life. And if you guys have made this, you should be worried by yourself. Really worried by yourself. The next one has more than 45 million views. And it says, I make pasta like this. There is nothing left. Nothing left? Where? In your brain or in your plate? Let's watch it. Ah, oh, so you're putting pasta in a Pyrex with a sauce. Okay, what's in the sauce? Let's watch it. In an oven proof three dish, cups of tomato add sauce. three cups of tomato sauce. That to me doesn't look like passata, so be careful when you say tomato sauce, okay? This is probably a combination of terrible already made sauces because I can see there are ingredients in there. What's in the ingredients? You know, it's always good to have passata, which is tomato puree, and then you add the ingredients and make your own sauce. One and a half what are you doing? The mozzarella doesn't go first. Grated mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella and tomato, okay. Mozzarella, how much mozzarella are you using? One cup of cream oh, cheese. Why do you need cream cheese? What is it gonna do to you, the cream cheese? What? It looks like yogurt, by the way. Four tablespoons. Parmigiano Reggiano is beautiful. Should be white. This is yellow. The mozzarella is yellow. I can't believe the cream cheese is whiter than the parmigiano and the mozzarella. The parmesan cheese. Three quarters That's olive of oil. oil. Extra virgin olive oil is what you use when you make pasta. Olive oil is not good for you. One teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, one teaspoon of black pepper. Black pepper. What else? One oh yeah, because you need the salt. salt. There's so much parmigiano in there, you need the salt. One oh yeah, oregano to make it more Mediterranean. And bake it in the oven mm. at 350 degrees Over Fahrenheit at 350 for Fahrenheit minutes. for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, what are we gonna get from this? The pasta oh, now we add the water, water. okay. What's, what are you cooking in there? In a very small pot, so tiny. Of oil. Olive oil in the pot. Oh, you must have watched God on Ramsey video. Olive oil in. That stops the pasta from sticking together. That's not true, guys. Oil. What are you doing here with the salt and the oil? In a small pot. You need a large pot when you cook pasta. Fettuccine, fettuccine needs a large pot. That you have at home. And any pasta needs a large pot. It doesn't fit in there. Look, it doesn't fit in there. They don't have space to dance. The pasta needs to dance. Look how tight it is. Get a large pot and use more water. Don't be a tight ass. Drain it. Stir the ingredients oh, that were inside the oven a little. God. Not even a kid who never cooked will do something like this. And then add the say, look at that spaghetti is dead. You can tell spaghetti is died two years ago. I would like to know where you are watching us from to thank you all for following our video. Oh. I'm so happy to hear that you're loving the oh. recipe. The most disgusting creation I've ever seen. Fine oh, fine herbs. Did you call these fine herbs? Why are they fine? Mozzarella, mozzarella cheese to taste. taste. You need more, okay? What are you gonna taste with well, all these ingredients? What do you taste? How do you taste the mozzarella? You tell me. You have it raw, okay? Maybe you taste it. But how do you taste mozzarella in this big mess? Put it Put in the, the oven to grate the cheese. Also oh, more, okay? Also oh, that now and looks like a lasagna. The recipe is ready. Look how delicious it is. You mean you have a lasagna? Have to oh, look! You can't it. even get it out. So what's the point of putting the cheese on top if you don't get that experience? Why don't you, you cut it like a lasagna? Thank you for watching this video. It looks terrible. Don't tell me it looks nice. Because if you do say to me it looks nice, I'm gonna come and get you. I'm gonna come and get you when you in the, during the sleep. This is disgusting. This is terrible. The pasta is so mushy. So mushy. I don't wanna watch it anymore. I don't wanna watch it anymore. You got what, two more videos to watch? You got two more videos. What is this one? Oh, this is short. Slow cooker, creamy chicken, chorizo and sun-dried tomato pasta. Three steps in one pot. A brand new version of my most popular. 7.8 million views, okay. Be ready. 
chorizo chicken, three chicken breast. Oh my God, you go so fast. So you're putting everything together in a casserole, okay? What are you doing in there? Oh, you got, oh, two and a half hours, okay. Wait, wait, okay. Did you cut the chicken or? So you're actually eating the chicken that way? Big breast. All together, it was disgusting. It's been, is this a salad? Sandra, oh. Guys, I've watched this in half an hour. I didn't understand anything that had just happened. No, one more video to watch. I learned this pasta trick in Italy, okay? 8.3 million views. Oh! What are you doing to the spaghetti? Nobody does this in Italy. Pasta in a... Spaghetti in a blender? What's in your mind? What do you... What's a laugh for? What are you laughing for? You've never been to Italy, I can tell. You don't even know what Italy is. All of our pasta inside a blender. Just break it up a little bit. Make sure it all fits in there. You want to break the pasta, but don't you do it before? You just put the spaghetti right in the blender. Yes. You just put spaghetti, you put any kind of pasta. I can't even pronounce spaghetti. Pasta right into your blender. We're going to turn it on. You're breaking your blender. You're breaking your blender. These people are idiots. Moron, what are you doing? What are you gonna achieve? You know, you know what you're achieving? Nothing. Disgusting. Okay, I think we are ground up enough. It looks like this. It's semolina, that's what we've done. You destroyed the process of making pasta, you now got semolina. A processed semolina. That. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, dump this out on our table. We're making fresh pasta out of pasta. We're gonna take an egg, and we're just gonna crack that right in the middle. Whoop, just like that. Well, I mean, where in Italy do you see this? Why you don't say it? Because it's not true. I mean, who does that to the pasta? You can just buy semolina and do it from scratch. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna start incorporating it all together, so I'm gonna go in with my hands. I mean, she's made pasta before because she knows what to do, but what is the achievement of this? We're just gonna start pressing it all together. So if your dough's a little bit too dry, you just need to add another egg on in there. No, you don't. You can add a little bit of water, put some moisture on your hands, and you do it. Okay, so clearly you never made pasta. I just made a mistake. What I said before was not true. She never made pasta. And get your rings off. In there. Look at that perfect wow. dough ball. Look at that. How did you make the ball? How do you make this dough? How did you make? Who will help you to make the dough? There's no way. You don't even know how to fold the dough. I'm just gonna press it down like that. It's gonna take. Don't do that to the pasta. The pasta does not deserve it. Do it to your face. Take a rolling pin. I'm gonna coat it with a little bit of my powder. Just enough. Powder? What kind of powder? Is that cocaine? Cocaina. No. Flour. Nothing sticks. Sprinkle a little bit of our pasta flour on top and then start to roll it out. And what's so cool is that you can make any shape of pasta you want. So we are making today fettuccine and cut it in strips just... Wait, the pasta needs to be thinner. You're making like a crust for a tart. Okay, that's the same thickness. You need to be extremely thin if you want to make fettuccine. You're not making fettuccine, you're making a, 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 like a, a strips for tarts like this mm. and you can do it however thick you want. I see that idiot at the back. Mm. You want, they're thin that you want. There's no rules. There are rules. There are rules. With making pasta this way. There are rules for making pasta. Perfect. So now we have all these beautiful strands wow. of fresh. Wow, you moron. Wow. These people never eat it in their life. They don't even know what food is. Go and eat your salad with tuna. Look at that. It's not like that, the really fine spaghetti anymore. Yeah, look at that. Look at the we, went, we went from this to this. Wow. <laughs> Idiot. Wow. Okay, now I have my boiled water. I'm just gonna throw some salt. Such a small pot. Use more water, use a bigger pot. In there, we're gonna gently place our pasta noodles right into our boiled water. Wow. Just like that. We're going to put all of them in there. I did also have some oil inside my water, which will prevent the noodles from... No true. It's not true. First, there is no oil in there, I can tell. But it's not true. Do not waste the oil in the water. 
Never use a large pot with lots of water and the pasta has space to move. The pasta needs space when you cook it. I'm sticking together. And we'll let those cook up for like seven minutes and then while that's doing that, let's... Seven minutes. That, least, that needs at least 30 minutes for how thick it is. It's semolina with eggs. It needs at least 30 minutes. So thick. So while our pasta is cooking, I'm just going to put a jar of sauce right over here. We don't need... That a combination of barbecue sauce and tomato sauce. Right over here. We don't need too much. Oh, you don't need too much. Adding a little bit of oregano to my sauce. Oregano. 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 Oregano, uh, you say in English, and not oregano. That's new to me. My sauce to get a little more flavor. Look how good it looks. I was going with fettuccine, but I think we got more like linguine at this point, okay. but. You don't know what fettuccine are, you don't know what linguine are. They look more like pappardelle to me, okay? Fettuccine are thinner, and linguine are like spaghetti, a little bit more flat, like more flat. So I don't know where you've been to Italy. Maybe you didn't go to Italy. Yeah, you think you did, but you didn't. Maybe you went to Las Vegas and saw the casinos that look like Italy. Yep, it looks good to go. So let's give it a try. All right, it is done. Look how good it looks. Doesn't look good. First, you always mix the pasta with the sauce and it doesn't look good. It looks like that came out from your culo. I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese. Wow, I want to see your face. Wow. This guy smells so delicious. It smells it smells disgusting. I can see that oh, sauce that you were putting in that pan. It smells great. And let's give it a try. I'm just going to cut some from the back right here. I'm, gonna press, I'm sorry for your, for your stomach. All right, let's give it a taste. You make me sick. You're making me sick. Mmm. It's like the perfect consistency. It's soft. Perfect consistency. It's soft. Mmm. Come and visit me. I'm gonna make your pasta you can refuse. And leave this idiot there. Oh wow. You don't need people like this in your life. It tastes like exactly like fresh pasta. Don't do these videos just to, because you need to make money. There are 8 million people out there who are gonna copy you. Who are gonna copy you. Share this unique recipe. I have to write a comment here. And now I need to share this comment here. And let's see if they're gonna reply. These people just do this to make money. And you disgust me. Anyway, do whatever you want. But I'm not gonna follow you. Never. Uh, guys, what do you think of these videos? I mean, they're one worse than the other. I do not recommend you to try these recipes at home. They are so bad. So, so bad. And they've got so many views. So many views. And that makes me worry. It makes me worry. Are you one of these people that watched this video and tried? Or are you one of these people that write comments to say, stop with killing food? Food should be respected. Simplicity is what we need. Keep it simple. You never go wrong. If you appreciate simplicity, you appreciate life. I feel like a twist. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Ciao, guys.